on guys, it's your boy Julius with Exclusive. Finally back at it with another one, man. It's been a while. You know, I ran into some problems with Project Jixer. Um, I had to figure some things out. I had to find a shop who, who was gonna do my tune, get some advice for him or from them. You know, I ran into problems with the Airbox, the ECU, things like that. So I finally found a little shop out here. Um, you'll see them soon, you'll see them in a later video. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. I got more videos coming soon, but just so you know where I'm at, but for all you that were wondering where I was, I know I got some messages and stuff. I just been real busy, man. I don't even know how to explain it. I had my hands in too many things. Too many opportunities were, were open for me and I was trying to do them all. And you, know, you can't do that, you exhaust yourself. So I had to cut some things out. Project Jigsaw was one of those things that got cut out, not because it's not important to me, but I needed some more parts, I needed some advice. I didn't really know what route I was gonna take. Um, you know, the money that has to go into these things, the time. So I decided to put this on the back burner for a little while. But in Florida, you know, you got that season where it's not too hot, it's not too cold. It's never really too cold. But there's that real nice season coming up right between now and like July. So I'm trying to get this bike back up. I'm trying to get back on it. I finally got all the parts I think I'm going to need as long as everything goes smoothly. So here goes an update. I'm going to show you where I'm at. And uh, enjoy. Be back. All right, so here it is, Project Jixer. Um, it's a little bit more put together than you guys probably saw before, but that's just so I can have this place kind of clean. I had the tank sitting over here, I had the tail sitting over here. So all those things are just set on the bike. They are not attached to the bike. They gotta come back off for me to do what I need to do. But as you can see, I got my parts down here. Let's get a closer look on them. So here goes all my paint equipment. That's for these engine covers that I have. They both need to be painted on both sides. So instead of replacing them right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint them. They have so many different options for replacement. I don't even know what route I wanna go with this bike yet. So for now, I'm just gonna paint them and keep it pushing. You see, I got my oil, my uh, OEM oil filter. This right here is a gasket for when I take off the stator. I'm not sure if I'm even gonna take it off to paint it, but I know it's probably gonna be the best and most professional way, so I bought a gasket just in case. Um, spark plugs, top-notch spark plugs. Uh, I looked it up on the forums. NGK, you know, you can't go wrong with them. Spark plug is spark plug at the end of the day, but I always try to make sure I put the best. Um, here I got water wetter. I've never really messed with this as far as coolant. I always had regular coolant, but I uh, wanna keep the engine a little bit cooler. It's kinda hot out here, so during those summer months, I know a lot of people go with water wetter and it's also not as, I forgot the word they used, but the coolant is, is slippery, it's not good for you where water wetter doesn't have that. Um, shout out to Dino Jet. This is my Power Commander 5. Last video I had the Power Commander 3. Uh, like I said, it did not work. So what I did was I sent it to Power Commander to see if they can fix it for me. So. They charged me 50 bucks to look at it, but they ended up sending me an email saying, look, it's 11 years old, which it came with the bike. I didn't even know how old it was. Um, it's 11 years old, they can't fix it, it's damaged. What we can do is we can give you a Power Commander 5 with a tune for 50% off. So shout outs to DinoJet. I mean, it took all of a week and a half, maybe, to get my new PC5. So, you know, shout outs to them. Here is my 750 ECU. Um, I had a lot of people who told me they can take the 600 ECU that I already have and reflash it for 750. But when I actually spoke to the tuner in my area, he said it'd just be best to go ahead and get the 750 ECU just for that peace of mind. That way they can just build on top of the proper tune. Um, so yeah, as you guys know, I got a Frankenstein bike. So just so I can explain, the Engine is a 2011, but what I'll be using for the ECU is a 2009, mostly because I'll be running 2009 throttle bodies to fit in the frame and all that good stuff. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, check out some of my older videos. I put a link, but that's where my problem came from, crossing generations. So yeah, 2009 ECU, got it on eBay, not too bad. Like I said, I will put a price sheet at the end of this so you can see where I'm at and whether it's cheaper to build or buy a 750. So yeah, um, here is my 750 chain upgrade. Um, Vortex sprockets, 
got the uh, gold DID chain. You can't go wrong with them. A lot of people are gonna say, why didn't you go 520? I like my stuff to last long. 520 is a little bit thinner um, and it's a little bit more expensive. I would love to go eventually with a single-sided swing arm on this thing. Not really sure yet. And worst, ca worst comes to worst, the chain will need to be upgraded later on. You know, these things wear out after a few thousand miles you know 10 15 whatever it may be depending on how hard how hard you ride so maybe when i'll change it the next time i'll do the 520 conversion if i haven't gone with the single sided swing arm so there's that and then finally i have my knn airflow intake and this is what i'm going to use to modify my air box i mean <laughs> you can see i have a few air boxes and this isn't even all of them the this is the air box that's going to be going in the bike but i have to customize it a lot in order to make it work um, so this right here is a plastic welder and that's what I'm gonna be using to, to make cuts and use pieces from all these air box all these air boxes in order to make one that fits for this bike so that's where I'm at all the parts let's get a good back view of it get a nice shot BAM so that's the update for project just guys stay tuned like subscribe and get notified by hitting that bell notification down at the bottom right also check out my facebook and my instagram all at exclusive motors um i post a lot of pictures up there some of them funny some of them about the bike so just check it out for me all right and uh also comment on what you guys want to see for the next project once this is done that's not going to be it for project jixer i got a lot of things planned for this bike but let me know what you guys want to see next because I want to bring something else to the channel to, uh, you know, make a big, a major project, swap a motor, whatever it is. So whether it be a car, a bike, a four-wheeler, I got a couple of things in my mind that I think I'm going to bring, but I want to know what you guys want to see. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, get notified, hit the bell notification. I appreciate you, and I'll see you next time.